السلام علیکم و رحمت اللہ وبرکاتہ دس از رو سوال اینڈ یو آر واچنگ ارکان ٹائمس انگلش نیوز ٹوڈے از ٹوینٹی نائن فیبروری ٹوینٹی ٹوینٹی فور ٹوڈیز نیوز ہیڈ لائنس اوبر ہنڈریڈ روہنگا Military Council fired heavy weapons into the streetway market and killed seven people and approximately 30 sustained injury. Australian aid throw the United Nations for humanitarian aid to MEMA. Junta forces compel 11 youths from Tendwe to join military services. Details of the news. It is reported that more than 100 Rohingya youths from Shokpyo ADP camp have been arrested by military council on the last 27 February 2024. A source said that military council has arrested over 100 Rohingya youths from Shokpyo ADP camp in Akana state on 27 February. And the arrested Rohingya youths were taken in a battalion near her. And they are being forcibly trained up by military council to serve for military council. The Rohingya youths who were arrested by military council are out of connection either on phone call or direct meet from their family members. And the family members are worrying about them, said a resident of Chopu. It is reported that military council fired heavy weapons into the city market in Setway on 29th February at about 8.30 am. A source said that military council intercepted firing heavy weapons into the market at about 8.30 a.m. and it resulted seven people died and approximately 30 sustained injuries as the market was crowded on that time. He also added that the number of deaths and injuries could have been high as the market was crowded when military council was intercepted firing heavy weapons. A social worker said that the dead bodies and injured people have been sent at Sightway Public Hospital. And the current update is that seven people died and approximately 30 injured and the injured people are receiving treatment there. It is known that the market is belonged to Uma Mongtang and he is also dead in the attack of military council, said Asos. Yesterday, February 28, the United Nations Office for the Coordination of Humanitarian Affairs, UNOCHA, wrote on X, a social network formerly known as Twitter, to express its appreciation for Australia's generous support for the humanitarian aid fund for MEMA. The exact amount of Australia's aid has not been disclosed, but it has been written that their support will help those in need in MEMA. It is understood that Australia made a commitment at the War Refugee Conference held last December 2023 that it will support Bangladesh with USD 235 million for the Rohingya refugee who were forced to leave their homes in MEMA and are taking refuge in Bangladesh. MEMA and Bangladesh, after 2017, the Australian embassy announced on Monday, February 26, that providing to 625 million Australian dollars as humanitarian aid to the country, priority is being given to the quality health services and emergency health assistance for women in MEMA. The Junta forces have abducted 11 youths from a ward in Napoli under Tendre Township of Akana State to enroll them into military services. A local source informed that a group of Union Solidarity and Development Party USDP organizers entered in Linta Ward of Nepali Beach at around 9 p.m. on 26 February and abducted those youths. The members of the USDP and soldiers abruptly entered the ward and abducted 12 youths, one of them escaped by running away, added the source. Furthermore, at around 8 a.m. on 27 February, the Junta's 566 Light Infantry Battalion convened a meeting with the administrators and 10 horses group elders from Jito, Miaping, Linta, Gua, Sapaji and Zipyukung wards. It is hard that the meeting was called for those who had registered their names for the military services before the COP in 2021. There are around 20 individuals from each ward who expressed interest in joining the services, stated the resident. According to the local resident, those who were arrested have been kept in the Nepali based 566 and 555th battalion. The military was led by retired Major Wu Ong Nai Wu, 
who is a former representative of Tendue Pitu Luo, said the locals. Thanks for watching Arkan Times English News.